And tonight uh, with Joanne, this is our second month of a series of months that we're going to be doing with Joanne. And tonight we're going to be talking about secret underground bases around the world. There's, uh, there's one in Dulce, there's some in Afghanistan, Iran, and there's a um, Nazi base in Antarctica that we're going to talk to Joanne about. Welcome to the show, Joanne. Hi. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's great to have you. As usual, we enjoy talking to you, and I'm glad we got this two-hour slot because this is a big topic. It is, and I could not have condensed it to one hour easily. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad that, uh, you know, that we were able to do this two hours. So, I guess, you know, I'm pretty familiar with Dulce. Uh -huh. um, I live uh, maybe two hours from there. Oh, wow. And, and I've been through there a couple of times when we would take, you know, high school trips to uh -huh. play ball in different towns. We would go up that way. A base, an underground base, I think it has like seven levels. Um, and human victims were taken there, and, uh, primarily women and children. And they did genetic experiments, uh, breeding experiments, mind control experiments on them. The grays, I think, kind of were like the, I guess they were kind of in charge. Um, but other, lots of other species would go there and they would, you know, it's like a, a lab, a research and horrible, horrible, horrible lab research place. Um, and then our government allowed it to be there. A lot of our, there were a lot of civilian humans there working there. Um, and, you know, because I think like Costello and, you know, Schneider was there as an engineer. Other people, you know, we have, have names of people that work there, just the civilians. So our, you know, our government knew it was going on and they were allowing bad things to happen. And then, and this is all just kind of in a nutshell. Then by late 79, the military were uh, finding out more and more about how bad things were there. Um, so in the fall of 79, um, one incident that happened there, I know we hear of several different little conflicts that happened there, but one particular incident that happened there, um, a faction of the military that had heard how bad it had gotten wanted to put a stop to it, so they sent in teams of various military personnel to do a rescue mission, and they rescued over 3,000 humans and captured some craft, and you know, almost 70 humans, or you know, 70 military people died, almost 70 people, um, and they set off an explosion that closed off most of like the main, you know, the main worst area, I believe. And, uh, and it didn't reopen really until 1993. So a lot of it they took either off-world, what they were doing, and a lot of it's now happening in Pine Gap, Australia. So does this report say anything about where the people that were rescued from this underground base went to? I mean, what happened to them afterwards? Yeah. Um, basically, yeah, let's see. It must have been difficult to introduce them back into their lives, depending on how long they were there. Yeah, I think a lot of them, they, they tried to debrief as many as they could. So I don't know, you know, and I'll, while you talk, I'll try and find that note. But um, they tried to debrief as many as possible, and I don't know how many of that was successful. And obviously the, the sad thing is they couldn't rescue as many people as were there. Some of them, they just, you know, they could only take so many on the, the ships, that they, the craft that they had with them to leave there. So some people died, and some of them, you know, no offense to anybody, but some of them were probably better off dead because of what they had been through. Well, yeah, that's, <clears throat> that would be the other thing. I mean, when you go through something that obviously had to be very traumatic, right. it would be um, almost something, almost difficult to overcome, you know, and, and really have a functional life. Yeah, I can't uh, imagine. Uh, so. I guess, Kiko, if the ones that weren't rescued, were they, was, were they then not killed purposely, but did they die in the, in the base? It's not real clear about that. It just, it just says, you know, they couldn't rescue everybody. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know what, I imagine a lot of them did die too, well, they knew where it was. But, and before the attack the, that I, the only one that I know about, um, you know, they've been doing some remote viewing, so they were getting more information about what was going on there. But also, I mean, the way they got in through the entrance, because the door opened up, because a UFO was coming in, so they just tracked that right there. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and followed them in. Right. So. And, but they were they were in their own craft, right? The U.S. military. Yeah, was. yeah. We were. Um, we were in. Yeah, we were in our own craft. Yeah. There was, uh, you know, there were some ground teams and there were some air teams. So. Australia, there mm -hmm. is a, a large base there. Okay. Um, and it's a, it's a alien human base like Dulce was. Yeah. And you know, one of the interesting things, I think they were doing um, is they were doing genetic research there. And when this closed down, um, you know, obviously that work stopped for a while, but um, in about let's see, my father in law died in ninety seven. Because of the bases there and the gates that are there and the beings that are, you know, coming through the gates and the bad aliens that are there are in cahoots with, you know, who we're calling the terrorists. So the bad aliens are helping that effort along, yeah. you know. And, and that's Tajikistan, you know, a lot of the stands. Um, so the location of a fabled gate to other worlds. And as the reports have come back from the German team that went into that area, there were major reasons for world powers to now want to control the place. The Germans uh, built a secret facility in the mountains where their research could continue in the strange phenomenon and advanced technology. The secret base was later surrendered to the British who hardly could believe what they found there. Um, in 1939, before the outbreak of the war, there was one German team that was accompanied by an undercover American agent, and he turns out to be none other than um, an OSS agent, and he later became, he was friends with my father-in-law, and he later became my husband's favorite, one of his favorite history professors, because that he taught at a local college here. And, uh, and well, while he was doing that, he was also a, an OSS agent. But in 1939, he went undercover with this German team and he'd done a lot of research on his own because he was a biblical, uh, he was a great scholar in his own right. Um, but this, this team, they came across, the first thing they came across was a small base. And they discovered the remains of young human females in chains next to dead um, reptilians. And then they discovered an active base. And where's my note about that? And we'll get to the active base in a minute because it's pretty fascinating. And... Um, the report that, you know, this information is taken from was written by Dr. Dill, and my husband did read the report, so that's where he got, you know, the information for this part of the, the entire report that we have. He's gone for like 18 months, so I think he spent like six months there, and then uh, Mark says that he spent like 12 months off-world. Wow. I was like, oh, and I don't know if Mark ever... But we went over there and we went to Afghanistan in October of 2001. Nobody asked questions when the bombs started dropping. The real targets were high in the mountains and nobody knew about it. People came out of the mountains telling of monsters. They told of an enemy force that had come out of caves to raid the countryside, taking food, aliens, and human females. The people would pinpoint hidden caves and other places where smart bombs could be targeted and ground forces could be, could be landed. All the while, the cover of the war with the Taliban had to be maintained. However, the Taliban collapsed quicker than expected. The cover story for the American people was that there were still factions operating in the country's harsh terrain. Yeah, and it was so funny because I remember at the time I was doing a newspaper and all the... And so our guys were there, you know, using that as a temporary facility until they, you know, built up a new, a new base. And we were also trying to get something called a deep imager space hyper telescope operational, which would have been allowed us to um, search for inhabited planets. Sketches of of certain things, right? <laughs> Anybody can fill that with you. And it's Thank you. 